Hey Vibers, welcome back to another episode of Who Done It. Um, so, all I have for <laughs> for my snack today is a Diet Pepsi. I know, boring, boo. Okay, kill me. Murder? Okay. Um, yeah, I just want to get into this already. I can't wait. Like. Let's get into this. Uh, what, uh, this is episode 7, I think. Or, yeah, or 8. Let's just get into this. Let's go, Giles. Previously on Who Done It, 13 everyday people checked into Rue Manor to play a diabolical game of life and death. The twist, the killer is, is a murderer. Well, the task at hand is staying alive because somebody here is a murderer. One by one, the guests will be knocked off until the final showdown, where someone will walk off with a quarter of a million dollars and be the last person standing to unmask who done it. And last time... Hey, he got shot he in the stomach. Well, he got choked. No, he didn't get choked. He got shot in the stomach, and the chandelier fell on him. If I were Melina, I would leave Ronnie out to dry. Are you guys willing to share any information? I don't think so. Camps and You want me to come to your team, and then later just pretend like it never happened? Why blame me like that? Lindsay, congratulations. My team is in a much better position than Ryan's team. We lost. How's the killer gonna get me? During the spa day? <laughs> like, off center? <clears throat> spa day! Yoga, massage. I would want the massage. It's always Melina with the screen. Well, now she knows she's not the one that's gonna get killed. Ronty. My dear guests, I am very Only sorry four left. about the untimely death of Ronnie. It's hard to be happy that I survived when I see my friend dead in a swimming pool. And now it's just me against three. I don't wish to send shivers down your spines. But two of you are scheduled to die. One of you is the killer. And one of you will walk out of this house with your life and a quarter of a million dollars. Now that I've come this far, starting to register that I may be walking away from this thing with a quarter million dollars. As you well I'm know, sure there are normally three areas of scrutiny. But on this chilly morning, the killer would like to offer you a bit of a twist. Four oh my God. areas. Wow. The scene of crime, which in this case is oh. the backyard where Ronnie was discovered floating in the clouds. The last known whereabouts. The so one person where to each went one. seeking solace and found malice. And the morgue where you can investigate his body, which is now undoubtedly cooling. And finally, the killer would like to offer you all a mystery area where one guest will have an advantage in solving the crime. Whoever earns the right to this area will also be given three minutes to investigate one of the other areas. This okay, area I'm picking mystery. Changes the game. Wait, can only one person pick a maybe theme? enough for her to piece together a solid theory, even though we outnumber her. I can see by your faces that you're all frozen in thought. So, I would we pick will mystery. stab each other for it. What? 
Oh, they got a challenge for it. In order to win the right to the mystery area, we're gonna have to stab or break this block of ice to get to the box. There Ooh, was a that's hard. chunk that broke off in front of me, and I can see the yellow case. And I start beating the crap out of this ice. Molina is literally killing She is picking she it up. Step away and well, I'm still three against me. She got to do ice. it. I am so close. This is it. I am finally going to win. That's, yeah, that is hard. You got that big ice block, and you gotta do a little thing. Oh, Cam got it. Picked harder. Maybe I would have beat Cam. I think he beat me by maybe two seconds. God, they're definitely gonna have an advantage over me. So close. I will. And she's the one that needed it. you to the mystery area. Then you will have three minutes. Well, they all need it, but like she needed it the most. Would you please verbalize your choice now? Uh, she has to have an alliance. Crime scene. Very good. As for the rest Me too. I would do... If I had the mystery thing, I would do mystery and crime area scene. you all will investigate. The one catch is that you must all choose... Something different. Yeah. Location. I will return uh -huh. in a moment to hear your decision. We need to warn her last night. Well, we all have to. We have to agree. Yeah, <laughs> you can't just say. Last night. So do I. You do. I'm not budging. Don't budge either. Okay, then how? If Cam gets to go to the crime scene, so the then point. Chris and I should go to the two other locations. What What are we gonna do? Neither of us are gonna budge. I'm not. No. You're You're going to have to, because I'm not. Why am I? Because you have access to yeah, because you guys. I will not move. Like we can duke it out. They should I let Melina have it. I'm not going to allow cause... them to have all four locations. I'm not willing to play their game. We are not going to budge just because Melina's team is dead. Just because she's being louder about wanting to go to the last known doesn't mean we're going to. It's not louder. Play. I chose to go to the last known. Yeah, and so did Lindsay. You just chose. Louder. Okay, well, you guys are going to have to. That's fine. And neither will we. It's come nice down to Lindsay. something. Yeah, but I mean, I'm very much with Cam on this point. Us and you, is that we are we. You guys were all yous, and that's why you're all dead. Yeah, okay. We are we, and we are not going to budge. It is a really terrible situation to be in, to be three to one. At the same time, she was part of the team that had us six to three and tried to tear us apart. So it's kind of poetic justice. Do we have a resolution? No. We do not. I can't say that the killer did not anticipate this situation. The killer provided me with three envelopes with the three locations. Lindsay, please pick one envelope. Melina. Chris. Probably Chris is gonna get it. Last known whereabouts. Oh. Last known whereabouts. I think Melina's gonna get more. My Morgan. envelope says I'm going to last known whereabouts, which is where I wanted to go. I just hope that Chris gets the morgue. Melina. More. More. Yeah. More. Chris. Crime scene. The crime scene. Even though I'm not getting the mystery area, I get an entire location for myself. They're playing against the Melina who is going to fight until my knuckles are bloody and I'm on the ground and the killer's standing over me about to kill me. I will keep fighting until that moment. Fight. That's what you do, fight. Crime scene. Ice blocks in the water. I immediately notice ice in the pool. I need to figure out. If and Ronnie he was had frozen. A hot tub By the way, he looks in the morgue. Why was he floating in the pool? I see hot tub. Opposite of hot. Oh my gosh. Drink is frozen. Frozen wants hot coffee. The hot tub is 
halfway drained and there's ice in the hot tub, whatever caused the ice in the hot tub and the pool was strong enough to also freeze his cup of coffee outside on the ledge. That's a big blast of cold. How does one make hot tub and pool freeze? Nope. You look inside the hot tub. Ralph Benjamin, South London. These must be Charles's letters. On the desk is a lot of letters. Attention, Giles, personal confirmation. Dear Mr. Giles, as you know, I've been here for almost eight days and I'm writing to tell you who the killer is. The name of the killer is Blank. The reason I know is Blank told Blank that Blank was being dishonest. The note is from Ronnie. At first, I'm like, wow, I found a note that reveals the killer. <laughs> but, <laughs> of course, it's not that easy. All the names are crossed off. Oh, my gosh. Did he write? How? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, he is frozen. <sighs> Ronnie is laying there, and it's hard to even recognize him. I really didn't want to see Ronnie. There was a reason why I didn't pick the morgue. Chunks of ice on your chest. What is this, burn marks maybe? Ronnie is frozen. There's ice on him. How is Ronnie frozen? God, what is this? Could it be burn marks? He's frozen, but he's burnt. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Dry ice? Because that's something that's really cold and area. if you it's touch it, it'll give you like and a in burn. Guy, there is surveillance footage. Ring? Ring? <clears throat> oh, that's the mystery. Fell asleep. Fell asleep. And then he got blown up. Right now, the only one seen video of how he got from the hot tub to the pool. But, but what made it out what caused that explosion is still yeah. important about me. Tonight. It's the how. Oh, is there anything <laughs> you left in here? Lindsay. Ooh. The teacup is missing, but on the tray or the teapot, the tea is so warm. Sugar, cream, ice milk. There's one thing that's not labeled, and it looks kind of like a powdered milk. I'm either really dumb or. Ronnie must have taken his teacup with him. It must have had cream in it because there's cream on the spoon. I'm still missing like everything about Ronnie's death. Oh my gosh, there has to be something else. I have just three minutes for the crime scene and I need to make sure that I cover all my bases. How is there ice in here? Drink is frozen. I'm still not sure what caused the explosion that launched Ronnie into the air. What launched him out? Everything that is available here, Chris saw just before me. Nothing there. I'm really regretting my choice of the crime scene. The morgue would have been far more productive than coming here. I don't see anything here. What is that? You're all shriveled up. You have ice all over you. This is my one chance to save myself. No one is gonna help me. They want me to die. What's that in your mouth? What is that? What is this powder, this foam Foamy. coming out of your mouth? His mouth has foam coming out of it. And all this blue? It's not just gonna manifest. So obviously Ronnie had to have drank something. What is this? I see a thermometer on a tray. I think, hey, let me take his temperature. It's probably a chill 50 or something ridiculous. Oh, it's 105. Oh, wow, that's really high. You overheat it, and yet you have ice on you. Let me think, let me think. And that's when I remember all the times that Ronnie has told me, when it's not making sense, you just need to stop, and you need to think. Hold on a minute. So what happened? Did you drink something? Obviously, something he drank had to have either made him pass out or killed him to the point where he could then overheat and then freeze, however that happens. Rest in peace, my friend. Bye, Ronnie. Hmm. 
Yum. I want an ice cream sandwich. These are yeah. amazing. I want a grapefruit. Oh, wow. It's juicy. Oh, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Well. Ooh, ice cream sandwich? What to do? I'll take that <laughs> too. Bowl of strawberries. Wait, was that an ice cream sandwich? What did he just eat? <laughs> that looks good. Whatever she's eating, it looks good. If Whatever they're eating, looks good. If I sticking with my team or partnering oh, with Melina, yeah. I'm going to choose sticking with Cam and Chris. Remember, she has super hearing, so. Oh, yeah. Good point. That's her superpower. I still think Chris is the killer. If I give Melina any information at this point, it's just putting myself at jeopardy. The hidden location was the attic. Oh. It was still the same TV up there playing a video. I should have chosen the morgue. I knew it. I knew it. That's what I wanted. Melina screwed me. The missing information from the morgue is integral in us figuring out what really happened to Ronnie. Melina has vital information that we don't. What did you see at the last note? Like, well, keep your eyes open, because those ears will hear if I talk. But I know. Immediately, start writing down what I know versus what I think. I start piecing everything together. Ronnie was frozen and yet burning up at the same time. What does that mean? I have no one to say, hey, this is what I'm thinking, and have them confirm it or deny it. I have to go with my instincts. I'm trying something that either killed him or made him sleep. Okay, what else? This feels like we don't have any clues. I don't think I got really much from that secret location, but now like it's like we have nothing. I was hoping to come away with some piece of evidence that I could have withheld, but because I don't have anything to withhold, and I think that Melina is the killer, somebody on my team is gonna die, and it could very well be me. What do you do at the library? You read, but Ronnie doesn't read. So why would he be at the library? Is a desk in the library. Ronnie, throughout our time here, has written me notes in the past. I can only go off of what I know. Ronnie likes to write notes, and I know he was in the library, and I know he wasn't there reading a book. So he must have been there writing a note. God, I wish I had somebody to talk to about this. How did she know? I have a pretty good theory, but I need some sort of confirmation. So I figure I have to go downstairs and some yeah, way good. get something out of them. All right, you guys ready to start playing this game, or are we going to keep playing like a bunch of cowards? Oh, oh. <laughs> Three against one, you don't think that's cowardly? What's six against three? How's that for cowardly? I mean, if you guys think you're the better team, let's throw it out there. Let's see who comes out on top. Yeah, well, the thing is that because we're the better team, we've got you against the ropes, and we have no reason to not let see, off. See, and that's where you're wrong, you guys. You should have never let me go to the morgue. I know a lot about what was at your locations. You don't know anything about what was at mine. Sample, last known whereabouts, right? Let me guess. Did you find a note? Maybe that Ronnie wrote? Crime scene, right? Let me guess. Ronnie was going out to the hot tub to relax. Was there a drink out there? I know that Ronnie drank something because Ronnie had the foam in his mouth. He wouldn't have been drinking alcohol because we don't have anything he likes. I also know he drank coffee morning. while we were in the breakfast room. He had coffee at the dining room table, so not coffee. Tea? Did you find tea out there? The only thing I can go off of is maybe he had some tea. He had some tea, he wrote a note. And I'm hoping that somehow I get the other team to confirm that for me. I know a lot. If you know so much, then why are you here? What I know from the morgue that you don't know will cause one of you to die tonight. All of a sudden, she's Melina, ace detective, and because this whole new pitch is so out of character for her, I'm now pretty confident that she's not the killer. You're gonna feed us now some accurate information, hook us, mm -hmm. then give us a bunch of lies. No, you know what I said was accurate. I feel so good. If I was inaccurate, he would have jumped on the one thing that I was wrong about, and he didn't. I know one of you might be the killer, and I know two of you are fighting for your life. And for the two of you that are fighting for your life, I will be in the kitchen making myself a drink. That's all I'm saying. Sayonara. Sayonara. Good, Good luck, luck, guys. Did she just become a completely different person? <laughs> She's more aggressive now. Before, she was, like, so passive. More of a follower. Now she's like, no, bitch. Thank you. 
Uh, what? Right now, I'm really nervous. I've never challenged fought a riddle, time. and there's three other people going up against me. <clears throat> if I let anyone else solve this riddle, it could mean my life. Ladies. And you li gentlemen. you literally are the killer was fighting for your life. A little experiment, a science experiment. Our lovely maids Beatrice and Sophie will be assisting me. Get it, maids. Step back. The killer wants to make sure that none of you are harmed. Stand back, Lindsay. That was a good one. You've all poured your hearts out in my little game. Most of you left will die just the same. Follow the bouncing ball that has a clue. Go where you're told on the chosen few. Excuse me. There is a canister of something bubbly, and it looks dangerous. Now then, let's start this little experiment off with a bang, shall we? Get it, get it! As soon as I'm watching them fall, I see one with black writing on it, and I grab it. And it says kitchen. kitchen. I just take off something. <clears throat> kitchen. Kitchen. These cans are filled with castor beans. Dig deep down if you have the means. Pull out a silver container. The next step is not a no-brainer. Dig it out. They're castor beans, and I need to dig inside to find something metal. Everybody is just going crazy. You can hear thousands of beans falling on the floor. I am digging. Dig. I've never dug before. I am digging for my life. I find the clue, and there's like a rolled up something. This phase of the game has many an angle. These words in particular may be tough to wrangle. Circle a specific room and or location, then you're allowed to go to that station. Back up your choice with the loop of your ink, then look for what's orange and go grab your mink. <laughs> Where's she going? Oh. I decide since we have to circle a word and then go to that location, it's better for me to find all the words, circle them, and then go to and all the yeah. locations at the same time. Orange. So the first thing I see is bar. Circle it, I go to the bar. I'm looking for something that's orange. Oh my god. Melina, Chris, and Lindsay have already got the next Beans one. Beans are everywhere. Just digging, 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 and I see nothing. Are you kidding me? Apparently, it's down on the floor next to me, and I must have swept it out without even looking. So the riddle says that this phase of the game has many angles, and the first word I see is pool table, which is a game with a lot of angles. Two orange balls. Yeah. A five and a 13. Which one do you have, Chris? Well, washer, bar, globe, yeah, pool table. Yeah, we've got those two. Try to find another. Excuse me. <laughs> it's just Pina. Pina <laughs> has all these things circled on her board. I don't know what she's doing. Does she think it's like a Sunday morning and she has the paper? I mean, it's a riddle for crying out loud. Have some sense of urgency. No, you did not cheat. <laughs> At this point, I think I've circled all the words. I've been looking at it for a long time. And the first that was funny. Cool. When she walked up and Melina was like, I don't see excuse anything. me? I don't want to spend too much time looking. Back I know that I'm up. running against the clock and I'm running against three other people. I'm looking around and I notice the Q and the U on the card and usually the only way to make a word with a Q is the U. So I decide to try to follow it and see it's a word. I see it's equipment and when you follow the whole word, it's pool equipment sort of written backwards and at an angle. It's gotta be. The thing that fishes out stuff? 
the head out to the, the pool, pool, and there's a sort of an enclosure where the pool equipment is kept, all the pumps and everything. Or the life. There it is. Oh, nitrogen, nitrogen. refrigerated liquid. There's the orange I'm looking for. It's an orange container filled with liquid nitrogen hooked up to the hot tub's water tank. Oh. So I know that there was liquid nitrogen used to launch Ronnie into the pool, but we're still missing the actual cause of death. It's in the dream. I hear the bell, and it's like the Grim Reaper taps me on the shoulder. It's all come down to this riddle, and I failed miserably. So the drink killed him. I want to go somewhere where I can I feel like the drink killed him. So let's go to the pet. And then the whole explosion thing was just like a means that destruction is still available to make it seem like that so was killed him. But no. my team and hope that I'm right about Melina. So the clue is pool equipment. And it's that enclosure over there. Nitrogen. There's an orange canister filled with liquid nitrogen. So we think for sure cause of death is just frozen to death. No, it's, it doesn't make any sense. But I think he was poisoned first and then... You think it's out. poison? Yeah, the uh, beans we were searching in, castor beans, are used to make rice in. Oh, what is that? It's white powder poison. Oh. There's no other reason to point out that they're castor yeah. beans in, unless it's rice. I work for the Department of Homeland Security, so I know a thing or two about rice in. Hmm. It's extremely poisonous. I can't imagine those castor beans were just coincidence, so I'm going with that as the cause of death. Yeah, because like, even in the challenges, they like have clues in there too. So if I'm gonna die. So if you can catch on, see, I didn't catch on. I'm gonna eavesdrop on them, and then so I, I need can to catch on. the one that doesn't get killed tonight. I feel like we don't have like nearly as many clues as we normally have. Is he gonna see me? Yeah. We have plenty. I mean, we're just missing. We're missing one location. That's the thing. Yeah. Okay. That's the thing. Is I don't think she has all of the details. Of... She doesn't have any details yeah. because that's one thing she learned from Ronnie is how to lie. Talk about what you found, not about me. When you saw him <laughs> launch, was it just like a dead weight? By the time I saw him, he was already airborne and like upside down. So you just see that and a big splash of water, which tells you that that's why the hot tub was empty, and that's how the ice got in here in the first place. And then there's a time for like the hot tub water supply. So that's what launched him over. No. The killer set some sort of timer, and then there was an explosion. Ronnie ended it up in an icy pool, and that's how I found him in the morgue. This plan worked, but I think I may have survived today. She doesn't know that, and it's enough to make her die, not me. Well, you're welcome. Time to plead your case. I am pretty confident I've got this case figured out. I still don't have any information from the morgue, but when push comes to shove, my theory is sound and I should be safe tonight. I know I'm missing some information, but I'm hoping with what I found at the morgue, using my instincts and what I overheard, that I can put together a strong enough theory that will be one of theirs. That's all I need, is one of them to not be 100% sure. Yeah, you just need to be this one of them. This is gonna be interesting, even though Cam unknowingly helped me today. Thank you, Cam. So here's what happened. You gave Ronnie the hot tub treatment. Knowing that you had previously rigged the hot tub with liquid nitrogen. He was writing a note trying to leave it for Giles, explaining who the killer was. I don't know who he wrote the note to or what the note was about. Ronnie sat at that very desk, poured himself a cup of tea, ladled a spoonful of ricin poison into his tea. I'm assuming it's poisonous, and that's why he had foam in his mouth when he was in the morgue. When Ronnie got in the hot tub, it was rigged to go okay, off. I'm feeling Chris's right outfit. Right at that time, he had a timer going, and then when the timer counted down, Ronnie exploded out of the hot tub, and then he falls into the swimming pool, and I believe there's dry ice all over the And Melina looks pool. good in blue. Ronnie sits, drinks his cup of tea, and falls asleep. <sighs> An explosion of water, ice, and Ronnie. The timer 
expires, releasing the liquid nitrogen into the water tank. Ronnie is propelled into the sky where he lands in the pool. Chris, I know you're the killer. Lindsay, you are the killer. Ronnie knew it, and I know it. Chris, I still think it's you, girl. God, I hope I don't die. Thank you for helping us get to this point, Lindsay. You've done well in maintaining your innocence. Yeah, I like her outfit. <laughs> it's cute. Wow. Ooh. Walk into dinner and immediately notice a bucket full of ice and tombstones on them. Wow. Oh, but that looks kind of cool. Yeah. Creepy, Creepy. but cool. Creepy. One of them has my picture. And then it just kind of sinks in that reality is they have more information than you. Great picture. This happens to be on a tombstone. There's a good chance that that tombstone Malinka. really may be my tombstone. So you felt pretty confident today. Mm -hmm. I did. I just tried to um, base it off of like things I know about. Yeah, this is not gonna be good. One of these days, you should join us for dinner. That's such a <laughs> kind invitation, Melina. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you're around when I get to eat it. I hope I am too. <laughs> well, a chilled seafood buffet. Oh, see, yes. How posh. How yummy. I am very pleased to announce the guest who impressed the killer the most and who will be guaranteed the chance to unmask who done it. Congratulations, Cam. I knew it. You are spared. Drink to that. Yes. Cheers. I'm very happy with the way I've played the game. I have managed to get this far without backstabbing anybody. I think I am definitely the killer's biggest adversary. I think I have her against the ropes. I will be unmasking her. As for the rest of you Dungeness crabs, I'm afraid you have no choice but to sit back and deal with the fact that you three were left out in the cold. Spa. Killing Ronnie was indeed cold-blooded. <clears throat> It all started just after breakfast when Ronnie adjourned to the library to be alone with his thoughts, or so he thought. Little did he know I was watching his every move on a pin camera in the belly of the See No Evil statue. Oh, of course. That makes and it just had to be on the one with that inside, covering their eyes. immediately began to write Giles a personal and confidential note. Ronnie claimed like to video. know who I was. As it turns out, he had me pegged to the letter. I sent some tea over so he could take his time and finish his letter of incrimination. After days of spying, I was well aware Ronnie prefers powdered cream in his tea. That's not cream. It was ricin. The most deadly toxin in the world, according to the book of toxins I left peeking out of the shelf. What? Ridiculous. Um, After he had gone, I simply found the letter and scratched out every reference that led back to me, preserving my anonymity. Feeling a bit less scared that his life might be spared, I made sure to give him the best spa treatment of them all, the hot tub. Ronnie got in and turned on the jets. The second he pressed the buttons, my canister of liquid nitrogen was time released from the pool equipment. By this time, the ricin had kicked in and his body temperature had skyrocketed to a deadly 105 degrees. On surveillance, it may have looked like Ronnie dozed it's off. Frozen. I assure you, it was a dead sleep. 
Ronnie was shot out of the hot tub from the chemical combustion of hot water and liquid nitrogen. Freezing his ricin-laden tea, charring his body from the chemical blast, blowing half the water out of the hot tub. The forecast for this cold-blooded murder was cloudy, with an isolated chance of hail. My sincerest cold condolences, your killer. Thank you, Giles. Thanks. Million. Okay. Ooh! Things starting with Molly. What is it? Starting with Molina? I'm scared. Card and it says scared, I'm shocked. Lindsay's the killer. She's not gonna kill herself. Chris. <clears throat> Have you ever been scared? I have not. Interesting. You made it all the way through without being scared ever. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry. That I must bid you all a good night. Adieu. And wish you sleep extremely well. Thank you, Giles. Can I take my wine with me? <laughs> Who it is? I hear footsteps. Melinta. Melinta? Because that's how she walks. How are you? Melinta? I'm playing pool out of nervousness. I'm happy to be alive, and I'm happy that I don't see Lindsay. As long as Lindsay's not around, then that means to me that she's dead. What am I again? Sons. I'm oh, always no, gonna right there. Around. Especially with a man's game. I know. Oh, that would have oh been God. ridiculous. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey. Holy crap, there you are. Well, there goes my joy. You should announce yourself yeah. in this house. <laughs> Lindsay has been standing there for God knows how long. Why are you standing over there? I was thirsty. Why are you acting so weird? <laughs> Can't be sure. She's <laughs> drunk. the creepiest thing ever, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> Funny, yeah, no laugh. <laughs> the way she's behaving today, I have no doubt in my mind that she is the killer. Good morning, Giles. Good morning. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems the killer has a surprise for you. Of That's course. No surprise. Why don't you take a look outside? <gasps> what? Where is it now? Is it limousine? What? So, do we get to escape the long nights? Ladies, please escort them to the limousine. Where are they going? That's really exciting. I mean, we've been trapped here for days. Oh, there's presents. I'm not sure how I feel about this. And there's champagne. 
I don't want to open up my gift. What if it's a bomb? This is how the killer is going to now try to kill me. Nothing here is a gift. Why? We made it really far. You don't think we deserve at least a freaking present? I do deserve a gift. I just don't want this gift. <laughs> As Lindsay's opening her gift, I'm really hoping it's something to do with her murder. A gun that goes off, or poison that sprays her in the face. Uh, no, Kim! No, Kim! It's very morbid, but it's her life or my life. Oh, it's a shampoo. <laughs> Where do you think we're going? Did we figure it out yet? I know what I'm doing. Not Can they stop? Is it your first bottle of champagne? In the world? Stop being so scared. He rehearsed this. Oh, chill out. Right. Here's to you dying and you living. Oh, I'm not sure I want to cheers that game. To life. Life. To life. Oh, yours makes it very. I don't like that they're driving like around like a cliff area. What does that look like a parking lot now? Yeah. <laughs> Driving. Does any, did anybody even see who the driver was? I'm just now realizing that the four of us have gotten into a limo without yeah. ever seeing who the driver was. Oh my god. And that is just stupid. Wait. Guys, we're going this to the This is the driveway. This is our driveway. We are back. Oh no. <laughs> I am freaking out. We're back at Rue Manor and odds what are. What was the point of the. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. What is the little that? Audi. Let's go fight Giles. I don't feel right about this. Oh, guys. TV's great. Oh, my God. What is this? Now I understand why the killer had to send us away, and I have a feeling that today is not going to be like any other day. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> oh, my gosh. As you can see, I'm a little tied up at the moment. Oh, my God. What the hell? Is this for real? How did Giles get tied up with guns to his head? I have been kidnapped and stashed Guns to his body. Manner. If you don't find me, I'm afraid I will die. And if you don't solve the impending oh crime, God. we will all meet a very similar fate. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! What is that? Get out of there! The room fills with this really thick white smoke. I can see maybe six inches in front of me. Is anything out of place? I can't see. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Where's Melina? She's not here. Melina? How could she just disappear? Melina has just completely disappeared. This is a good sign. But what if she's the killer and this is just her disappearance <laughs> so that she can kill, me kill you? Right. Melina, this is so creepy. What is that smoke? Next time on the season finale of Who Done It. Oh yeah, next time is the final episode, guys. Finale. Body, I'm not ruling her out. It's every man or woman for him or herself. Holy son of a biscuit! And only one of us can walk out of this alive. I can raise the dead from the deadly haze. I thought I seen it all. No way. You have unmasked who done it. If you guys are left, one Ronnie. small thing can trip you up. One little error can be the difference between living. Looks and like life. a little snowman. Yay! Oh my gosh, that was a good episode. So, oh my gosh, so we got one more episode left. The next time I see you, um. For who done it, it's gonna be the finale. So yeah. Uh hope you guys are having a happy Halloween. And hope you guys are having a great weekend. Because I'm filming this during the weekend. And until next time, I want to wish you guys nothing but good good vibes. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.